Hello class and welcome to August the 24th of 2021. Today what you're going to be doing is explaining what went wrong in Biosphere 2, kind of like wrapping that thought process up, tracing the path of carbon through matter by um, reviewing another carbon cycle, and then you'll begin forming your hypothesis for your closed ecosystem project. All right, so what are you turning in today? Today you're going to turn in class daughters 6 through 10. Um, and I may just have y'all take pictures of it and turn it in. Or uh, Actually, no, 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 we'll leave it. You can turn it into the yellow bin and I can always retrieve those items at the end of the day. All right, here is your weekly bulletin board. The only thing that I kind of added was that you all were supposed to do some notes on Earth Spears. Yesterday, some of you did, some of you didn't. But either way it goes, you're going to be paying the piper soon. So you're going to, you just earned yourself some extra work to do on your own time. Because if you chose to use yesterday as a free day, a free pass, shame on you. Because one thing I believe in life is true character is not what you do when others are looking. It's what you do when they aren't. So because I wasn't there looking and watching over you, some of you took advantage of that. And see, in life, we have to become self-disciplined and do the things that we are called to do. Not what is popular to do. I understand that the popular thing to do is to sit in class and not do your work. But if you know me, like I think y'all know me, you know that if I gave it to you, it must have been important, okay? So it is important enough for me to collect it now and turn it into a graded assignment, pretty much. That's how we're going to have to do this. But that's fine. Also, yesterday you were supposed to work on a carbon cycle poster. Now for my third period class, I understand that they weren't in the room. And so I, I understand that. So whatever happens, happen. At the end of the day, we're just going to get it done. So I'm going to give you all until Friday to get it done. So that's all I can do. Okay. I can't control that I'm in quarantine right now because I was considered a close contact. I wanted to come to work, but I can't. Um, so it is what it is at this particular point in time. I'm not sick. So if people don't go around saying, Miss Gillum, Miss Gillum is not sick. Look at me. I'm well. I just can't come because I'm considered a close contact, but it's all to the good. Um, so I just want to review over that. Um, so then we come back here. That's our quote for today, but I'll review over that with y'all in class. Um, so I do want to go over the agenda with you all for anybody who happens to um, miss. If you did miss class, then you should watch the recording. All right. So don't forget that today you will log into Google Meet. The show must go on. As much as I would love to just go get in my bed and sleep, it's going to mess us up completely because this is a block system. This is AB. It's a little bit more forgiving, but we're on block. So these are the times that I'm going to have the daily quiz open, and that's a firm on that. Um, here are y'all Google Meet login times. Please make sure that y'all log into the Google Meet on time, please, and thank you. Here are the things that y'all are going to be turning in. Um, I just decided to extend grace, but really, I don't know. I really do promise I'll have y'all grace updated uh, by the end of today. That is the plan for me to do that. Okay. Um, here is uh, what you were supposed to do yesterday. So in case anybody got lost in the sauce and didn't read, it says to click here for the instructions for the carbon cycle, but I'm not going over that. If you want to hear me go over that, listen to yesterday's, but I'm not going again. This was for yesterday. Um, it's due 825. Today, we're going to be doing a pair deck together. So on this pair, I have Blink just to join PD. On this pair is Link the um, Power point or the slide deck to or spears that you're supposed to be doing um i have these handouts so somebody will just have to pass these out uh pick them up whatever um so this is going to be going on page 27 and 28 of the science notebook so please make sure you take care of that i think i forgot to mention let's see if i can go back no okay no yeah it always does that wants to make me copy stuff that I didn't ask to copy? Um, I didn't point this out. Uh, there is a video note taking worksheet that you all would need to pick up. It should be in the front of the classroom. That's gonna go on page 26 of your science notebooks. Just wanted to point that out. This is 27 and 28. Um, once I finish my spill and we do our notes, then I will leave you to finish working on your um lab report paper so at this point you should be forming your hypothesis y'all should have done your research if you didn't finish that up get it done your hypothesis should be formed and then we're going to start developing our procedure so what it was going to be was if i were to be there in person tomorrow you was going to bring in the stuff for your geosphere what i want y'all to do is to take your jars 
bring them home, bring them back home and do your geo spirit, whatever that's going to be. Is that your dirt, your rocks, your soil, your pebbles, whatever you're going to be using as your geo spirit. Go ahead and take care of that. Get that done. Uh, Friday, that's when we're going to start adding in our hydro spirit. And then next week, we'll, um, hopefully I can, I will be back on Monday and then we'll do the bio spirit piece. Okay. All right. So by the end of class, we have class thought 11, daily quiz 11, notes on Pear Deck that you will do with me. The Carbon Cycle 2 poster, I will guide you all through that as well. And then I'll cut you loose to doing your research and your hypothesis. Um, I know some of you are deciding if you want to do the work or not. The choice at the end of the day is ultimately yours. Like yesterday, many of you made some choices. Every day we make choices. Just got to live with those consequences. Just remember that we're stuck together until December, so we should just make the best of it. Take me up on the offer to complete missing assignments during tutoring. I won't always do this. All right, so this is our recap from Friday all the way up until now. So uh, Friday, we worked on these things here. And then yesterday, hopefully y'all finished up because I told you Friday, finish the summaries for these articles and drop the evidence onto the evidence um, template. You all know about any time you have technological difficulties. Shout out to Third Period for informing me of the technical difficulties that they had. I like certainly and really appreciate that. That makes my heart just smile knowing that when some people see things that are wrong, instead of just saying, oh, well, it's not working. Oh, well, it's not there. Taking the initiative to let me know. And I appreciate that. So thank you so much. So that leads us into today's um, final quote. Success will be achieved if and only if you never quit. Quitters never win and winners never quit. See, that kind of goes hand in hand. Some of you quit yesterday. You made a decision. I know it is easy to quit, but I challenge you to take the high road. Because the high road would have been, hey, y'all, you know what? She left work for us to do. Y'all, let's just chill and do our work. But some of y'all said, you know what? She left work for us to do, but let's talk. <laughs> what I got you. It earned you additional work to do. Now, because I'm a nice and forgiving person, and I understand that this is the first time that I really wasn't there. So I said, I'm going to give you all some grace and I'm and give, extend understanding. Um, but going forward, if I leave something for you to do, like I told y'all, if y'all plan to go to college, you have to become self-aware and become self-disciplined. If you paid attention to nothing else in that student support community, it talked about taking ownership. It's time for y'all to take ownership because at the end of the day, I'm taking ownership and I'm doing what I have to do because I know that my situation really wasn't bought on by me. And the easy thing for me to do would be like, oh, well, these people making me use my days, even though I don't want to. I don't want to be home, but I understand it. It's COVID time. We got to be safe. Like I said, I don't feel sick. I know I'm not sick. But at the end of the day, I'm a close contact. But because I'm taking ownership, I'm going to still run my classes. I'm going to still do what I need to do because that is who I am. That's what I am. And that is what I have been called to be. You all are going to have to do some deep reflection on what is it that you've been called to be? What is it that you have been called to do? For most of you right now, you're only called to be a student. Some of you may have some additional responsibilities, but for right now, when you are at school, you're called to be a student and sit in class and do your work. Stop doing what is easy. If you do what is hard now, life will be easier later. All right, so that is my spiel. I'm going to get off of that because um, I want to you know, keep positive vibes because everybody didn't do the wrong thing, and I understand that. But I do have to address it to make sure that we clear on Miss Gillum's expectations, and I expect nothing but the best, nothing less, because what y'all going to get from me is my best. That's it. There's no in-between. Good is not good where better is expected. All right, so happy learning. Um, I will see y'all in class and goodbye. Bye-bye, students. Okay, let me find it. There it is.